back to my channel or hello if you are new today we're going to be doing some fun spring things we're going to first head to michael's i've been dying to go there and see what kind of decor they have out for spring i've looked online and it looks like they've got some good stuff out so hopefully they will have some of those items in store but i'm going to share with you guys my favorite finds i know that all of their spring decor is 60 percent off and their spring florals are 70 percent off so i'm really looking for the florals i'll try to link all of my favorite finds down below in the description box. Let's go shopping and then we'll head back and share a few finds that I picked up. And then I also wanna talk about my spring bucket list with you guys. Um, I always try to throw that in a video this time of year and I spent some time this morning writing down all the things that I wanna be intentional about. Usually I will write the list and stick it on my refrigerator. That way it's just like right there in front of me and I'm reminded to really soak in these things that I'm wanting to do in this season. So I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's go ahead to Michael's. All right, jumping right into Michael's. I loved these baskets that were in the spring shop line. They would be beautiful stacked on open shelving. I also loved a few of their spring florals, but I feel like their regular florals are much better. So I'll show you those in just a bit. But here were a few of the faux florals in the front that I thought were pretty. I also loved this hanging basket and that it had a liner inside so you could plant real flowers in it and hang it on a door. I think this would be beautiful and the price wasn't bad. Everything was 60% off. I also thought this was neat. This could be really cute for a cottage inspired look and you could use it on open shelves as well. They also had lots of hanging baskets of all different types and little jars for stems. I love their outdoor lanterns. I feel like they were a pretty good deal once that you use the 60% off and they had lots of different styles to choose from. I also loved these scalloped shelves. I thought these would be really cute in a little girl's room or bathroom and they could hold decor and they were a pretty good price, $25 and then you could take 60% off of that. I also loved this little basket purse. I thought this would be cute for a little girl if she had a little flower garden to go cut flowers or just pretend. These baskets were cute with the lace around them. I love these floral plates. This welcome to the garden sign also worked as a planter and would give a very cute cottage feel. They also had a variety of house plants and faux trees and I'll show one at the end that was my favorite. All of their greenery was also on sale. I thought these would be pretty draped down the middle of a table. They also had some faux plants that were hanging in like a pot and the hanger already, which I thought was a really good idea. They also had a variety of different vessels that you could fill with different florals. And I loved their baskets. These, All these planter baskets had liners in them and they were 60% off as well. Most of them were about $30, so a little over half off for those wasn't too bad of a price and michaels took the cake on all of the garden fairy <laughs> dreams that you could do I mean, anything you could possibly think of they had tons of little moss bird houses these are really cute i should have grabbed one for my potting bench in the garden but I, I didn't think about it once Breland's a little older i'll do a fairy garden for her these jars were really cute but i feel like they were a little overpriced they were still like six dollars each um, again, some more of that floral design on like crocs and cheese boards, but they were all ceramic. Um, they had a few cute art pictures, but I will say this section here was my favorite. They had a variety of table decor, wall decor, planters that were all in this really cohesive 
rustic theme and I really liked it. This candlestick holder was very beautiful. I loved this dough bowl. That's great for shelf styling. I thought this vessel was really unique. It was kind of a copper color. And again, a great price when you apply the sale to it. They also had these landscape art faux books, which I thought were a unique find. They had these wooden trunks that were cute. Some wooden beads that you could style on books. They also had a landscape art picture, and then I think the other one was a platter. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Maybe if you wanted to prop it up in your kitchen. Um, they had some little rain boot, flower, plant holder. I love this pillow, so cute. I also love this copper terrarium, I think that's what it's called, um, but I thought this would be beautiful on a back patio with some herbs inside. It was a little pricey. It was $60 originally, but it was still 60% off, and then this tapestry was beautiful, but here is the olive tree I was telling you guys about. This one was so pretty, and it was originally $130, but it was still 60% off as well. Some of their planters caught my attention as well. I love this like bubble look and I know that the checkered print is really popular as well now let's head to the regular floral section this is where I feel like you got the best variety they had tons of greenery to choose from for filler and then I found a few different types of flowers that I really liked and different types of greenery to throw into flower arrangement. okay like I said I have a small haul of what I picked up from Michael's and it was i was mainly going for florals one of the items i was looking for was this scalloped basket oh they are so cute and a really good price but they were sold out so and i think they're sold out online as well they also had some really good things that i just didn't have a spot for it so hopefully that gave you some inspiration if you're trying to find some different spring decor that kind of has that cottage vintage flair to it. I will say going to the thrift store, antique stores, and vintage markets, flea markets, that's been more of my jam lately. So, and it kind of always has been, but I'm just finding that other than florals and pillows and linens, I can get all of those things usually from Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, those places. But as far as like table decor and really unique items for like the kitchen, I like to get it vintage or at least vintage inspired. That being said, tomorrow we're actually having a spring vintage market in my local area that I'm going to with my mom and sister-in-law. I may film shopping at that market tomorrow and just share my favorite um, vendors booths that are there and i'll include that in a video for next week i'm also still going to decorate our living room for spring so that'll be a video coming very soon as well but i've been looking for a little basket like this that will hang on one of our interior doors $14.99 and it was 60 percent off so i feel like that was probably comparable to what i would pay at an antique store. Um, I've been looking at the thrift store for a basket that's this shape, that's flat on the back, that will sit flush to a door and won't stick out too much. And I just haven't found anything. So I was very excited to find this. It came in a larger size as well. The rest is just floral stems or greenery. So now I love making my own faux flower arrangements. And I'm always looking for a good greenery to use as filler for the flowers. That way you don't have to use as many flower stems. And this one is so good. Here is this super realistic looking houseplant. Actually, it's um, a type of pothos, I believe. Almost has a waxier feel to it. My thought was I can always put this in a vase and have it trailing out. And I'm trying to replace some of my more faux houseplants with ones that look very realistic. And these were 70% off of $10. So I thought that was a fantastic deal. Great in the spring and also in the summer. Little new growth looking pieces on them. I don't know, I just feel like it looks very real. Now for more of that cottage look in flower arrangements and vases, I love finding just neutral 
stems that are very pretty and when I saw these I thought they were stunning they're a really pretty green color and they have these almost berry like um, blooms on them or buds I grabbed three of these and I thought this would be so pretty in a white vase um, I have one in mind that I'm planning on using these for or you could also put them in a little basket like this it would be so cute and these were originally five dollars and they were 70 percent off so you cannot beat that and then if I do decide to make a bigger flower arrangement this summer with faux flowers this is a good filler and then the last stems that I picked up were these little daisies these are cream mini daisies and this I feel like gave me more of that vintage cottage look like the summery cottage look and I also thought that these would be cute for styling um, like newborn photos once Braylee is here um, I'll be able to stage some of the photos of her with these these were originally eight dollars and 70 percent off of that and I just thought they were stunning I love these so I grabbed three stems of these that's all that i saw but again you could just pop these in a little vase you could pop them in a basket i think that's what i'm gonna do with them and i feel like that is just the perfect summer spring and summer look a lot of my decor this year is just spring florals um lots of textures i'm bringing in some more like gingham pillow covers um and just like floral inspired textiles creating an overall cozy home without creating too much clutter and i do have a few rabbits out for spring if you want to go back and watch my spring decorate with me videos i've done my kitchen my dining room my entryway so far and we did just make over our entire bedroom that's where i'm in today filming so i'll link a few of those videos that i've done recently but yeah i've added in some little bunnies for spring and I'm also going to put together a little resurrection garden but other than that I've kept my decor pretty simple I also wanted to go through my spring bucket list with you guys got my notebook back out I just make a list of things that I want to do this spring and I put little check marks by it to kind of help keep me accountable and keep me on track for just wanting to be intentional with this season first is to decorate with flowers fresh and faux and i've done that a ton in videos already i have brought flowers into our bedroom i have them in breland's room in our kitchen i've filled some of my vases with some beautiful faux flowers i also picked up this really beautiful tulip arrangement at lowe's yesterday as well and i picked up a few more flowers to plant outside so beautiful they're like the most delicate little white flowers they're called candy tuft and they are beautiful i feel like i've planted them in pots before but this year i'm going to plant them in our landscaping Next thing is to refresh our back patio we have lots of plans for our porches this year. We're going to finish them out in cedar. We're going to put up bistro lights. And then I did just refresh um, some of our furniture. So I added a new outdoor rug, brought in some rocking chairs, which will be so nice to have with a newborn. We got Breland a little playhouse. That way she'll have something to play with while we're outside. Um, the kids have their swings on the back porch. I just love creating spaces where our family can be but it also just creates inspiring environment like it's a place we want to go we have a few things set up that just pulls you to that area i love drinking my coffee outside in the mornings and reading when it warms up a little bit and then for the front porch we're doing the same thing we're wrapping the whole ceiling in cedar pouring concrete sidewalks actually tonight which is so exciting um i cannot wait to have a sidewalk that leads to our front porch we're going to bring in rock in our landscaping i've already bought a ton of plants and evergreens to go outside in our landscaping i've contacted a guy to come and brick steps leading up to our front porch coming together 
and I'm very excited about all of that and that's just gonna make us wanna be outside even more. Next one is visit greenhouses. This is always so fun to do when the weather warms up a bit and everyone's getting all of their flowers out. I love getting ferns, especially Kimberly ferns. If you've never seen those, look them up. They work out a little bit better if you're doing an actual like planter and you don't want it to hang in a basket. We also have a peony farm that's local to us where they have a huge field with rows and rows of peonies that you can go and get little bundles of and that's around Mother's Day so that'll be coming up that's something I always look forward to in the springtime the next one is have picnics so this is something that we'll do here at our house I love to just throw lunch together have it outside we'll eat as many meals as we can outside I also love meeting my friends at parks and bringing all the kids, letting them play, and just everyone bringing like charcuterie style food, picnic food, and just having like a grazing board <laughs> and just playing and eating and being outside. It's just so nice. This one is go on outdoor walks. This is something that I want to get in the routine of doing every day. Um, typically, I'll just walk my driveway or Breland just loves to walk around the yard. So I'll just walk with her. The thing about getting that natural sunlight, being outside, walking that is so nice. I also want to read outside and I pulled out some of my favorite books that I've been loving lately. This one is the Holy Huga book. This one is creating a place for people to gather and the gospel to grow. This one is Rhythms of Renewal. This is something that I feel like I needed towards the end of my pregnancy when I start to get a little bit anxious, simplify my routines, and this book has helped so far. I'm not real far into it, but Rhythms of Renewal, and it says, Reading Stress and Anxiety for a Life of Peace and Purpose. The next one is a very inspiring book, which these are like some of my favorite ones. They're not really one that you would pick up and read all the way through but it's one that is really good for the different seasons of the year and it's called growing seasons by Kristen Johns it has heartfelt recipes DIY style and decor and inspiration to help find beauty and wonder in each day which I love and then she breaks it down by each month of the year and different DIY she likes to do she writes a little story to go with each month of things she does that time of year or different experiences. And like I said, she has recipes and stuff in there that are very seasonally inspired. So love this one. This is one that I just got. Have a few journals, which I guess they're basically magazines, but they're both called journals. First one is Magnolia, Magnolia Journal. Love these, I've been getting them for years now. And then a new one, this is my second um, journal or magazine that I've gotten from this brand and it's called The Mothering Journal. I don't even remember, somebody on Instagram maybe recommended this and I thought that sounded so good. They are out of Franklin, Tennessee. It is so good. If you're a mom or if you're looking for like a Mother's Day gift for someone or you wanna ask for something, this is so good. I think you get one for each season. They have the most beautiful stories in this journal. They have just been so encouraging and they're all biblical based. It's not a magazine where there's ads or anything in it or um, a lot of fluff. It's literally just encouragement on every page. That is another one that I will flip through typically throughout the day if I have like five minutes or I'll throw it in the car with me whenever I'm going to pick Brooks up from school. Those are the books that I'm loving right now. Back to the bucket list, going to spring markets, vintage markets, farmers markets, all of those. I cannot wait for that. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to a spring vintage market and I'm very excited to do that. Um, the next one is to deep clean and organize the house. This goes into like nesting and I'm planning on filming some nesting videos as well. Deep cleaning like our cabinets in the bathroom, our kitchen, the kitchen's pretty good and the pantry is pretty good but I still could like just go through you know just deep clean dust everything make sure there's no extra stuff 
along with that, clean out our garage even and our car. So especially before Braylee is born, I want to make sure the car is like squeaky clean. I want to have it detailed the whole nine yards. I even bought to um, seat protectors to go underneath Breland's car seat. I've never put one under there and I feel like it needs it. The next one is plant the flower garden. Like I said, I talked all about that in my last video. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. And then the last thing on my bucket list is to implement simple symptom symptoms. Oh, pregnancy brain. I wrote down symptoms, <laughs> but I meant to write down simple systems <laughs> and prioritize rest. So simple systems as in like doing laundry every day. That's just worked out so well for us um, and it makes it to where I'm not overwhelmed by it. So doing a load of laundry every day, putting it away, um, also running the dishwasher every night, unloading it in the morning, and then filling it back up as we go out throughout the day. I feed my sourdough every morning. Not that that's a system, but that's just something that like I enjoy doing and I'm in a good rhythm with it. Those are like the main housekeeping things and then just cleaning whenever I feel like it needs it. And then prioritizing rest, like in the evenings, I really like to just after dinner, take some time to truly rest. Evening routine, which I've got a pretty solid one going right now. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed getting to do some spring shopping and hearing my spring bucket list. Let me know what's on your spring bucket list down below in the comments. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.